All right, guys, so we're gonna look at your thoracic spine mobility this week. Um, if you did the shoulder assessment last week, you tested that range of the shoulders up against the wall and you could use some improvement and then you did the stretches um, and come back and still don't see any improvement in that shoulder range of motion. What could actually be happening is your thoracic spine could be limiting your range of motion through the shoulders, okay? So we're gonna do a quick shoulder, I'm sorry, a quick thoracic spine assessment, um, checking some rotation on each side. You might need a partner for this one to help you get real accurate. Um, and then after that, I'll show you some stretches to help improve that thoracic spine here. So what you're gonna do, if you can, you'll sit down on the floor with your legs crossed and your butt as close to your heels as you can. You're gonna come up until your center right in front of and upright on the pole here. I'm gonna take a PVC pipe, as even as I can, and just get it to contact my chest. I'm not going into a front rack position. We just want it to act as a gauge. So you're just going parallel right across the front of the shoulders here. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rotate to one side, keeping my back straight, my butt against the ground. That's as far as I can go. Adam's gonna come in here and measure from the PVC pipe to the pole. About 14 inches on that side. I'll come back to normal. Reset again, sit up nice and straight, and turn. That's it, that's all I got. 14, okay, so I'm pretty even on each side. Um, but again, only getting around 14 inches away from that pole. Um, ideally, you're gonna get a little bit closer than that, somewhere I'd say between five to 10 inches would be ideal. So I'm probably lacking a little bit of range in the thoracic spine right now, especially after deadlifts on Wednesday. So the first thing we're gonna do, take a double lacrosse ball and a 45 pound plate. 45 pound plate works if you have a, uh, a heavy medicine ball at home, um, something more than 20 pounds really, you want like a 45 slam ball or something like that. Anything to get some pressure onto your chest. What I'm gonna do is take the double lacrosse ball and get it right about there, right in between the shoulder blades. We lie down on top, it's right between the shoulder blades see that there, I'll lie down on top, and I'm gonna take this plate and position it on top of my chest just across from that lacrosse ball. And I'll give the plate a hug, plant my feet, and lift the hips, and already I can start to feel some pressure breaking up those tissues in the thoracic spine. You can roll very slightly up and down, and then another good one to do is holding on, you'll take one arm overhead. This way you can really isolate each side and find those areas that are stiff or a little bit tender. Work that arm overhead, out to the side a little bit. Bring it in, remember to breathe, deep breaths. Get some oxygen to those muscles. You'll just spend some time working into that area. And then what you can do is just shift up on the lacrosse ball a little bit, shift that plate up and repeat, just tracing all through that thoracic spine. So bottom of the shoulder blades up to the top of the back. Okay, you'll do that for maybe about two minutes, working through that shoulder range. And you're gonna go into some basic cat-cow mobilizations. So from here, come down onto all fours, and you're just gonna focus on keeping your hands under your shoulders, your knees under your hips. You'll pull up through your thoracic spine, and then drop your chest down and open it back up. And just go back and forth a few times there, nice and steady, and that should help you to activate those muscles and hopefully improve the range, okay? And after that, you can come back. And we'll see if we got anywhere. So I'll hop up again, take my PVC pipe, go for a rotation. Under 10. And I'm under 10. So just like that, I grabbed about five inches more range. It only took about a minute and a half. All right, so that's your thoracic spine test and mobilizations.